شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا The first thing is it's azmaish is ibtila it's a trial the allah tbaraka wa taala has put his believers in trials allah tbaraka wa taala does not uh, you know put upon them in destruction or you know it doesn't destroys them like allah tbaraka wa taala has said in the holy quran bima kana allah li azibahum wa anta fihim oh my beloved i will not destroy them i will not put azab on them unless you are present in them wa alamu anna fikum rasulullah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in an in another instance in quran al majid that be aware that my beloved my beloved rasul is present amongst you he is within us we cannot see him but he can see all of us so rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam is present and resting in the blessed grave in madinah al munawwar in qubbat al mubaraka which is known as gumbad al qadra Now, my dear friends, there are there have been some uh, uh, request uh, which has been made by scholars of Ahl Sunnah wa Jamaat. I have seen that on social media and on television that they were requesting uh, that there is a window on the dome of uh, the Holy Prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. The people have requested that that window should be uh, you know opened up so that the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala would reach uh, the entire universe because once. that window there is a belief in the ahl sunnah that once that remo- window is kept open uh, the mercy the rahma of allah subhanahu wa taala will descend down on the earth on this world uh, this is uh, actually based uh, on an incident uh, in the life of uh, hadrat sayyidina ummul mu'minin aisha al siddiqa salamullah alayha there was a drought situation there was complete drought in madinah al munawwara people were drying of uh, the acute shortage of water not even the people the animals were dying there was no uh, cultivation left because of the shortage of the water so the people raised to ummul mu'minin sayyidina aisha siddiqa and requested her that she shall uh, make a dua a supplication so that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should put ease on the people of madinah al munawwara those time she said uh, I would suggest uh, uh, you people that you go to the grave of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and there uh, 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 on the, under the roof of the uh, there was no dome at that time when Sayyida uh, Aisha Siddiqah radhiyallahu ta'ala anha was alive it was until uh, the last 8 uh, centuries ago that uh, the Qubbat al-Mubaraka the dome of Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was constructed uh, uh, by several people there are actually three domes one after another one after another so the present scenario is that we have got the gumbad al qazra which is a green dome we call it and we look after that with uh, deep respect and uh, we have a great affection for gumbad al qazra because uh, it is uh, something uh, which is very synonymous with our lives and with our aqidah so um mu'minin uh, advised that there should be a, a hole that should be created into the uh, roof of uh, uh, the blessed chambers where rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wasallam is resting with his companions so so that if that is done inshallah you will get a lot of rain and that happened alhamdulillah the sahaba did that upon the request of sayyidina aisha now there was a rainfall uh, so it it rained so well that the entire pounds uh, in the uh, in the surrounding areas of uh, madinah al munawwara were full and the life uh, came back in full spring alhamdulillah so likewise uh, there is a belief uh, in the aqidah uh, of ahl sunnah wal jamaat that the scholars are requesting uh, the saudi government that they should uh, you know just open up uh, that window and if they do so inshallah uh, we are pretty sure inshallah with the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah rabb tabaraka ta'ala will put uh, put ease on the people of this uh, this world and inshallah we will get rid of this covid 19